At this time of year, whilst other places are conserving their energy, the river still flows with ferocity. And here, one water-loving bird remains busy all year. The dipper. It spends up to 66% of the day foraging for food. And this remarkable little bird lives up to its name by dipping beneath the surface in search of invertebrate prey. Underwater, most insects are vulnerable, so they hide away under rocks and stones. But these stones aren't quite what they seem. Living inside is a particularly resourceful inhabitant, a caddisfly larvae. There are around 200 species of caddisfly in UK waters. This one is Limnophilidae. In the depths of winter, they're on their own search for food. Walking across the gravel, they feed on dead vegetation and organic material that clings to underwater surfaces, like these rocks. And in an attempt to go about this feeding unnoticed, they adorn themselves with debris from the riverbed. As they grow, they must adapt their home, searching out new materials amongst the rocks and gravel. When the right piece is found, extraordinary care is taken to find precisely the right fit. Silk is produced from specialist glands in the jaw, which stick the stones around its body. It looks like a 3D printer as it works methodically back and forth, back and forth, creating the ideal camouflage. And with naturally soft bodies, this also offers some protection from hard fragments that may be thrown around in this fast-flowing river. This caddisfly may have a mobile home, but others opt for a more fixed abode. This is Hydrocycidae. It doesn't have a case, but makes a retreat in stones which are fixed to rocks. Down here, it's safely hidden from predators, and that's just as well. It's hard to blend in when you have such flamboyant gills. And a brush tail. The gill throngs maximize the oxygen that can be taken from the current. The best territory not only comes with a good home, but also prime feeding grounds. And this caddisfly has another use for its silk gland. It builds a net. These super strong structures are used to capture passing algae and other organic material which the caddisfly larvae feed on. All these caddisfly larvae take months to develop and will remain in these cold rivers throughout the winter. And if they can escape the beak of the river-dwelling dippers, the caddisfly adults will emerge into the form that we know them best. Hey, what about those net-building caddisflies? Wasn't that amazing? And I do believe that's the first time they've ever been filmed in that much detail. And there's some fascinating work coming out of North America that shows that where you have a river full of these net-building uh, caddisflies, they actually alter the speed and the flow of the river, kind of like mini beavers, really. Amazing, amazing things.